If you are in any need of prayer or advice, make sure you comment or email. God bless you. For many people, I believe, they know what is right and what is wrong. So they may say, well, I know what is right and what is wrong, but hey, I see other people doing the wrong things too. So they use that excuse to continue on doing the wrong things, which makes no sense. I know some people may have heard if you see someone jump off the bridge, are you going to do it as well? And for sane people, sane, sane people, they aren't going to do that. So you believe that since many people are doing similar sinful things, do you believe that God is going to say, hey, <laughs> since there is so many people doing these similar sinful things, let me make that thing or things not sinful, hey, and let me allow them all into heaven. Do you believe that God is going to do that? So, no. So why even say that? well, other people are doing it. Why even say that to me? It really makes no sense. Or why even say that or even contemplate on that when it is silly? If you are doing something and you know that it is wrong and you refuse to repent of it and change from it, because, well, Kevin, other people are doing it. Well, hey, you are pretty much asking to go to hell. I don't care if 80% of people are eating humans. <laughs> I am not going to do it because it is wrong. I don't care if so many people are having sex before marriage. I am not going to do it anymore because I know that it is wrong. I don't care if people don't claim things or claim the proper things on their taxes. Just because many people do it doesn't mean that I should do it. I know that it is wrong. So I am not going to do it. Some people I know don't do things that I see. How can I say that? Some people I know are doing things I believe is wrong. Just because I know them just because I may be close to them or whatever doesn't mean that, hey, it is okay for me to do it as well. That is crazy. If something is bothering you and it keeps coming to you, telling you that it is wrong, stop it. Don't do it. Obviously, that would have to be the Holy Spirit, depending upon what it is. But if something is telling you that you are doing wrong, stop it. Last year, no, maybe in 2015, there was something that I would do, not every night, but every so often and I would do it because it was a hobby of mine which is crazy and while I was getting dressed 
like a reoccurring thought continued to come to my mind. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And I got into my car and <laughs> oh my lord that thought continued to pump into my mind don't do it don't do it don't do it don't do it and as i was driving i was trying to like push away that thought like get out of my mind get out <laughs> And the more I tried to push it out, it was like, I guess you can say, the louder that thought became. Like, it would get louder and louder and louder and louder. And to where I had to turn up the rap music that I was playing so I could, like, get that thought to get out of my head or so I can listen to something else other than that voice or that whatever you call it to stop pumping into my mind. And the crazy thing about that, the crazy thing about that, when I did all of that, either on the front right seat of my car or either behind me, like I felt something, <laughs> I felt something come into my car, like on the passenger side or right in the back seat, like right in the middle back seat while I was driving. And I believe that was a demon. And I kind of knew it, but I was like, I don't care, you know? But, yeah. Let me stop here. God bless you. If you are interested in receiving a free Bible, make sure you contact me. God bless you.